welcome to a brand new speed build. Today I have another base game home and it's not just any base game home, it's a starter home. I finally did it. I said about a year ago uh, when I made my first starter home on the channel um, that I had made, I think I said in that video, I think it was in that one, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's been like a year. No, it's not been a year. It's been almost a year. Um, anyways, <laughs> I said in that one that I had done a starter home, a base game starter home. Um, but then I think I said either in that one or a couple of videos later that I was not going to post that because I didn't like how it turned out. Um, that build was not it, you know, it was just, it was not it. But I decided to try to make it again because I do try at least, I try my best over here um, to make a one base game home every month. Um, it has been going great so far. <laughs> I have missed, I mean, when I've missed, it's because, um, I wasn't uploading, like, at all. But usually I upload at least one base game home a month. Um, and for this month, I was thinking kind of, like, what do I want to do? Um, and I decided to make this base game home, this starter base game home. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that this is going to go into my save file, uh, unless I make another starter home here. But I do need one for Newcrest on this exact lot. Um, and I think I'm gonna use this one because I do really like how it turned out. Um, obviously again with it being a starter home and base game, it's not as decorated as I usually would do any homes. Um, so this, if this is your first video here, um, hi, welcome. Um, I usually make my homes a lot more cluttered and a lot more just full. Um, but with it being both base game and a starter home, it's a little bit harder. Um, but I did try my best. <laughs> I did use a lot of things from debug. Um, the thing with the house that I did the first time, like my first base game starter home that I did almost like a year ago, um, that one, I think I made it too big. Um, so I had a lot of like empty spaces to fill out. And I, when I did that, I decided to use a lot of things that I don't think are like things that wasn't, wasn't actually functional. Um, and like, I don't know, I still have that one in my library, um, like, you know, in the sense, like, I still have it there. So if you want me to, I could share it. Um, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in, or interested in, um, like, if you want me to share that to the gallery, because I could. I have deleted that footage. It's not going to get out. <laughs> it's not going to get out anytime soon, um, ever, actually. Not anytime soon, just it's not going to get out, ever. Um, but if you want me to upload that to the gallery, I could. Um, it's just, it's, it's a lot of things that are, like, not functional, and I use, like, paintings and stuff that are, um, like, not in the game. Well, they're in the game, <laughs> but I have up on my gallery that I made, uh, two or three years ago that are, like, paintings that The Sims, like, Sims in The Sims, that, you know, Sims have made, um, so, like, on the art easel. And I put a lot of those paintings in because they are very cheap, but then when you, like, delete them, you get a lot of money from them, um, which is very weird. <laughs> But I decided to do that, so I don't- I just- I didn't like that I did that, and it's just- overall, it was not my thing. So, um, I could definitely upload it. It kind of reminds me of this one. Um, I really like this. I really like that I put the chimney, like, in front of- obviously, this house does not have a fireplace or anything like that, but the chimney is for decoration. <laughs> It's from decoration. Um, and don't worry, I did not waste money on that. That is a debug chimney. So, like, I don't even think it would work either way. So, like, it's fine. Um, but I think putting it in the front of the house kind of made the house look a little better. But also, like, just... It made it look better. Um, <laughs> I said that a little bit correctly after. I'm sorry. But uh, it made it look better for multiple reasons. Like, first off, it makes it, like, look more high-end with it being having a chimney. Because usually that means that you have a fireplace. Obviously, in this house, we do not, um, but usually you would have. But also, I think it takes up some space outside that, like, the exterior doesn't look empty either. Because usually I would put, like, lights and, like, um, flower boxes and stuff like that, which I do end up putting lights and, I think, maybe flower boxes. I don't remember. Uh, but they are all, like, um, what's it called? Debug. So, like, the lights that I put, they don't work. <laughs> they don't work, but, like, it's fine. Um, but, I like, I did try to not use that many base game or like uh, debug items that aren't functional um like obviously I use them for decoration but um like I didn't put like a um anything that looks like it could be functional that's not actually functional um I think that's if, if that makes sense <laughs> Um, but yeah, and speaking of functional, this house is playtested, like all my builds are, and I did actually have to change some things. I didn't think I would have to, but I did. Um, first off, I did change space with the art easel and the bookshelf, so they kind of changed space, so, um, or cha changed place, not space, <laughs> change place, so, um, the art easel ends up being in the kind of hallway and the bookshelf end up being in the, um, living room just because my sim could like not even go to the bedroom because the artists were blocking the way so i just moved it um and then i think i had to 
yeah, I had to move the um, trash can because my sim could not access it. I don't know why. Um, and there was something else, I think. I don't remember. I think I might have changed a few other things. Um, in the screenshots, that is the final version that is up on the gallery. So if you are curious of how it looks in the end, you can just watch the screenshots. Um, and yeah, and again, if you want to download this from the gallery, my gallery ID is the Sims 4 like it is also on Twitter and Instagram. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm being way like more formal today with the voiceover, which is weird. Normally, I would go on a lot of rants. Um, I'm just, I'm, I talked about this in my last video as well. I'm just, I'm not doing great. Um, I'm not doing great at all. Um, but that's okay. I both like physically, like I'm actually like sick. I'm really, really, really sick. Um, I don't think it, maybe you can tell a little bit from my voice, but it's mostly just like other things. Um, <laughs> that sounded weird. I meant like I'm coughing and, um, headaches and my throat is hurting, but it's not coming out from the voice. You know, it sounded like I meant something else. I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. Um, and also like mentally because depression do be hitting hard. Um, but it's okay. It's fine. We can, we can we can make it work um it happens and that's life um i don't want to talk about this <laughs> sorry i will get back to the build um and also for the exterior i did try to put some functional items like flower pots and stuff um i did like if you decide to download this you will end up with like i think 27 simoleons or something like that which is not a lot um like it looks like it, it only costs like eight 18,000 something, 18,500 or something like that, I think. Um, I, the exact price is in the description box, but um, when I'm doing base game or like uh, starter homes, I am not going for like, I'm don't, I don't have a $20,000, um, $20,000, dollar? Why did I say dollar? I don't even use dollar where I live. <laughs> sorry, 20,000 simoleons budget, um, because that's not, in because you have to include the lot price, um, because that's actually a thing, so, like, in my save file, obviously, like, sure, this could cost, like, 20,000, but you still wouldn't be able to have it right away, because of the lot price, so, um, with the lot price included, I think you end up being, end up with, like, um, 20 something simoleons, um, I'm pretty sure, so, I'm sorry about that, but it's okay, um, I also tried to make the exterior look as, good as possible with like the landscaping and stuff like that. I love landscaping. <laughs> I have gotten some requests to do like a landscaping tutorial. Um, let me know if that would be something that you're interested in. I could maybe do it. I don't know how helpful it would be, but let me know if that's something that you would want me to do. Um, the landscaping for this one is very simple. Um, like very, very simple. <laughs> But I do really enjoy landscaping. I think that's like one of my favorite parts of the house. I think also like it makes a house. Um, a house without uh, landscaping, it's not a house for me. <laughs> It doesn't look good, but it's the same in real life. Like I think landscaping really does things like for a house. Um, I really, like, really like it. Um, and also like, I never think that when I do base game homes, I'm like, oh, the landscaping is going to be easy because like, it's just, I use a lot of ba base game things in landscaping normally, but I realized that I also use a lot of other things. Um, like I use the, a lot of things from, from, um, I was going to say cats and dogs. I do, um, I've started to at least, but I mostly use things from Cottage Living, which is still, it's not like new pack. It's, it's been like six months or something since we got it, but, or seven, not seven, I mean five months, something around like that. I don't remember, but, um, I think it was July. I don't know. We've had it for like not even a year and it's like already something I can't live without in the game. Like I use it all the time. Um, so if you're, if you're wondering like what pack to get Cottage Living, hundred percent, um, the the cast items are amazing the build items are amazing from i haven't done the gameplay but from what i can tell the gameplay is amazing like it's just it's an amazing pack um especially like the build items and i have been looking at a lot of cast things recently um and it's also amazing so i highly recommend that pack um but i like how i'm talking about packs in this in this build <laughs> it's a base game build but um i do realize that i use a lot of that and I think I use things from other packs as well without me realizing. So, like, when I'm going to landscaping, I'm like, oh, I don't actually have that much to choose from. Like, I thought I would. Um, but, like, it's fine. I used a lot of the same plants. Um, it turns up, it ends up being very, like, green, I think. I did add some, like, orange bushes and also some, um, um, what's it called? Pink. <laughs> I forgot that it was called pink. Um, <laughs> pink flowers as well. And I think it looks really good. Um, also, and the, like I changed the siding of this house to yellow like the last minute. It's the last thing we do. Um, I the, when I was done with the build, I was like, mm, it's it, it's looking a little bit boring. I do really like this white siding with like the blue kind of columns. I do really like that. Um, but I I I, don't, I really like the yellow. I think it makes it look extend out. I think it makes it look a little bit better with the yellow. Um, 
I don't think I've ever used a yellow siding, at least not in like, at least like five years. <laughs> I might have when I like, started building, but it's been a while. Um, but I, I do really like the yellow siding. Um, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. I do have some other, ide other ideas um, for that siding that I want to do, but it, it might be a while. You know, it might be a while. I have a lot of videos on backlog. <laughs> have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of builds for you guys to do. do. Um, and, you know, I love them. I love making those houses for you. It's uh, stressing me a little bit right now. Um, but also, I'm never going to let it stress me to the point where I can't do it. Um, and so just, you know, if you're waiting for a build, it's it's on its way. It might take a few weeks. It's on its way, but it's taking a few weeks. And also like school and then with me being sick and like, it's, it's not, it's not a great time, but I'm trying my best over here. Um, Sorry. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for this video. And I really hope you liked it. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and of course, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.